The first step we do here with the referee is uh, what we call the PCMA, is the pre-competition medical assessment. And we start with the blood test here this morning. So it's essential and it's going very well. The doctors are performing an echography, um, electrocardiogram, to make sure there's no dysfunction in the heart and everything is in order as well. She's going through an orthopedic exam here with the doctor to make sure that the articulation, the movement, um, flexibility, tendon, and like all those um, articulation are in good shape. We have the traditional FIFA test, um, but this time around we re, um, reduce the time. So instead of 6.6 .6 seconds, they have to run below 6.4 seconds for 40 meters six times. Uh, so that's a, a bit of a new standard, at least a target for now, um, to increase a little bit their fitness. And now after that, they will run 12 laps with the also the tra traditional uh, FIFA test with 150 meters in 35 seconds and 50 meters in 35 seconds recovery instead of 40 seconds. So also the recovery time is shorter than, than normal. We have to be really fit. If you watch women's football, it's an extremely fast sport. The women are fast, they're, the game is fast, and we have to be as fast, if not faster than them, to make sure that we keep up with the game and that we make the decisions and we're in the correct place to make the decisions when those big decisions come. Um, as women's football gets faster and faster, the referees have to keep up, um, and I think that's part of why we do so much fitness testing. We had players, the boys from Grasshopper FC Zurich um, team, uh, they played for us, they simulate um, scenario that we, ha we have in a game and the referee have to make decision. So it was a great technical session and we had also additionally instant feedback. So they could make a decision on the field, go on the monitor because everything is filmed and instantly they can see if they made a good decision or not. So they have a lot of feedback visually but also from the instructor directly on the field so it's been very valuable for them. Das Spannende an diesen Lehrgängen ist, dass man einfach unglaublich viel voneinander lernen kann, vom Fußball aus unterschiedlichen Ländern für sich mitnehmen kann und sich somit bestmöglich dann auch gemeinsam vorbereiten kann. We have another uh, fitness test, like um, the second big one this week if we want. It's called the Eurodynamic plus the CODA test and the T test. It's all fitness testing. Um, again, to see um, where they are at, and to assess them, and to give them feedback a little bit in their training. What I see today with the top 40 referees, uh, I'm very satisfied. But knowing that we have another two years plus to, um, to um, increase a little bit every level, right? Better fitness, better technical, better decision making, and, and so on. So we have time to prepare, but I'm very confident that we will see um, a difference from the last World Cup to this one.